Welcome, I'm Manfred von Bosa, bringing you probably what's going to be an un uneventful and painful gameplay of German Tier 4. Uh, I'm here with Chris, who has just unlocked oh. his tall. My, yeah. So what do you think of the plane so far, Mr. Mr. Uh, Connery? I hate it. I mean, I, I think I'd like it if it actually flew against things it could actually kill, and not P-80s and Bearcats and F-80Cs. Actually, this is a lower tier. We actually might be in a good game. Maybe. This thing has a better climb than the D9, apparently. Well, well now it does, probably. Mm -hmm. Look how long those wings are, though. It does have a monster engine. And long wings. Fully tall 152. I guess we were the lucky ones today. I still hate this freaking map, though. I never do well on it. Mm -hmm. I can't pinpoint why, but I just always do well on it. I don't know. I always climb off in this direction, and then once other people start getting into battles, I'll turn into the battle. <laughs> uh, there's still probably be space fires above us. Mm hmm. Speaking of which, my viewers, I bought the premium Spitfire. First game, got four kills. Outclimbed everything without even trying. Every game after that, I couldn't get a kill. But stayed alive. Mm -hmm. and you I get the stock to, battle rating? Yeah, and then I had to adjust. Um, I had to adjust to actually being in the battle rating, it would set me in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I like got zero and made some stupid ass mistakes. And, but then I, when I, then I started getting kills again, and I researched like two and a half planes in one day. Tier three planes. Mm -hmm. That's what a premium plane will get you. So yeah, I got a 30 millimeter cannon. It should be fun. 30 and two twenties. Mm-hmm. No machine guns, just cannons, just pure cannons. The way it's meant to be. The way it was always meant to be. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what plane are you researching now, Chris? The uh, HG162. And then I'll fly that. Gone, you probably should have gone for the 163, just saying. That would have taken a lot longer. And yeah. Plus, I want the MiG-15. I don't really care about all those. Alright, yeah, I get what you're saying. I'm just saying, like, the, the MiG-163 is actually the only German-designed jet I can, like, go out and fly and actually pretty much guarantee to get a kill, you know? Mm-hmm. Of course, they nerfed the 162, which was my favorite jet, my first jet. Actually, probably like one of my first actual gameplays was a 162. Be wrecking Bearcats. Probably couldn't do that anymore. No, oh, you don't fly against Bearcats anymore. You fly against Sabres. <laughs> they nerfed the turn to hell. Now it now it just flies like an unaerodynamic like piece of wood. A brick. With an engine. It, it turns like a MiG-15 now, except it's more twitchy. Does it do that Fark Wolf slower. turn? Does it do the what? The Fark Wolf turn where you turn and you just like wiggle all over the place. Um, it's like stop, stop it. No, the wings are a bit too short for that to have happen. I think, but it does like wiggle in the like the pitch axis, you know. Mm. Like when you're trying to turn, it's just like, uh, it's, you know, it's like, it, it's not a constant turn, it's like, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I thought you meant like when your wings were going side to side, you know? 
Yeah, yeah. You turn at low speed, and your plane just goes up and down and up and down and all around and side no, to side. It's actually pretty stable that way, but it's just the pitch axis that goes all crazy. They actually made it a little too stable, to be honest. Mm. Like the MiG-15 is. They were supposed to fix the D9, and they did. <laughs> they fixed but it. But before that, it was... It, it, just really hard to turn at low speeds, high altitude. So, um, now that I'm pretty much complete with Germany, uh, except for the Sabre, which is just going to be a hell of a grind that I'll deal with later, um, I'm going to go with the Brits because I have the best Russian jet in the German tree and the best American jet in the German tree and uh, Japanese jets. We won't talk about that. So, British is the next, it's the next, uh, next step. Next, yeah. And yeah, then uh, they get the Hunter and then... Yeah. Here. Actually, the Venom is uh, really good if they haven't. Yeah, uh, vampire shit, but like, dude, I've, heard, I've heard the Venom is really good. Mm -hmm. Like, I've turn fight. I've, I've been in a turn fight with the Venom before, and it almost beat me in a one six three. Mm hmm. I mean, so that's pretty good. It would probably beat anything but a one six three, you know. Yeah. And, uh, it beats it definitely beats uh, Sabers. I saw Fry Daily do it. Was it or is Baron one of those two? I must start turning now. Yeah. If I run a Spitfire, I'd probably be at seven thousand meters by now. Mm -hmm. Oh no, my water broke. <laughs> that fucker wolf turned at the same time. Who knows? Hey, like it's a JU87. <laughs> what is that doing? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, th I think that's what you call. Oh, he got pulled into the game. That's a B2. <laughs> that's the early one with the 20s. Hey, well, he can out turn everyone, right? <laughs> yeah. But he can't out anything else at everyone. Mm hmm. Destroy the target. Oh, good, it's Space Cat. Where? I don't see it. <clears throat> Dude, Space Cat's. I don't even, I'm not even afraid of them when I fly that premium Spitfire, dude, because I just out climb and they're just like, oh, I'm going to come at you, and I'm just like, nope, I did a Spitfire squiggle and dodge them, and then they're dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, dude, F-82, those things suck ass. Yeah. Hey, what did I say? What did I say? Oh, Jesus, Spitfire. Hey, hey. We Two Spitfires. We might have speed on them still. All right, I'm going to level out if this is the case. I'm turning my ass around, bro. <laughs> okay. Have fun, everybody. Me, I've had this happen to me so many times in the last, like, month. I'm just not even... Okay, good, he's going for, uh... I'll wait for them to dive on somebody else. Yeah, wait for them to dive on someone else. That's how I die. That's the only way I die in Spitfire is if I don't... If I lose situational awareness, I dive on someone else. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's going for that uh, BF-109. Nope, nope, he's staying. No? Oh yeah, he's diving. I this, already lost a K4. You know, you think this tall would climb well at high altitude, but... Being I a mean, high altitude bomber, or a fighter. Yeah, but I'm at a 10 degree angle. I'm losing speed. I'm at a 20. I'm at a 20, but I, uh... <laughs> oh my god. Dude. What? This thing turns like a fucking MiG-15. <laughs> High altitude oh, darn. fighter, my ass. I'm going 240 kilometers an hour. I turned on my combat flaps so I can stay at a 20 degree climb. <laughs> nah, that's a bad idea. Oh, my engine's gonna... Cut my engine. I got a new graphics card so I don't lose frames when I record anymore. It's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I got, I got a hundred seventy frames right now, son. I got a uh, hundred and thirty. 
three thirty. But I'm not recording, so I can start recording. But the software stinks. I'll turn back around. And maybe once we get back, there won't be any more Spitfires. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I hate when those AI, like AI shit, is like above me. I'm like, shoot, someone's behind me, and like dodge. Mhm. Mm <laughs> okay, where's the Louis Pity? Doltman just got hit by a Bearcat, and looks like he's pulling something else down there too. Stay high. I'm still gonna climb. <laughs> no, we lost our JU eighty seven. No, it was gonna be useful to our team and stuff. and things. Yeah. What the fuck just happened? What a fucking waste. Hmm. I got those head stealth rounds because I was in a perfect spot and I didn't want to spook the Spitfire because I know he could dodge me in four seconds and they were just dead and then and then I killed him. His <laughs> name just disappeared completely. You got pilots named. How many are down there? Uh, I don't see any around me anymore. Oh, oh, I see some. Slower than me. For once. Space cat behind me. You should come help me out. <laughs> uh, no thanks. That looks like a spitty. You have a tall 152 and a fire wolf over there? What are they doing? Uh, dog fighting him, I guess. <laughs> Space cats, uh, man. Darn it. Why oh, you always gotta dive away from people? Who's diving oh, it's away? a tempest, too. Ooh. ooh, ooh, a tempest, too. That thing's fast as hell. Uh, relatively. Well, he just climbed like 500 meters or a thousand meters death climb to get me, so he shouldn't have any momentum. This tempest, I'm getting this tempest. He's mine, he's mine. Come on, Todd, don't fail me now. Kind of in a tough situation. I gotta help this guy out. Yeah, I gotta help him out. Sumaba. Sumaba, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. What you doing over there, Chris? Tempest? Uh, dog fighting and tempest, yeah. That's. I I took yeah. way too much fuel. <laughs> I just realized that. I took, I took the men. The men is like 40 minutes. Isn't it? Uh, I have 44 minutes right now, so I guess I took like an hour. Oh, yeah. I have 30 minutes right now. Alright. Let me see if I can handle this situation here. I'm not afraid to head on this thing. There's no way I can I can do anything about this tempest now. If, if I were you, I'd just kind of dive away, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming towards you. <laughs> oh, dang. He's pretty close. This plane's actually kind of fun when you're not fighting jets. Yeah, hey. Good 
think I Mind helping me? Horton. Okay. He... I was tempted to do the Horton, but I was just like, uh, no, why am I tempted to do the Horton? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm tempted to go jump off a cliff. I might just do that. I cry every time I fly that plane. Ah, uh, yeah, the Tempest is keeping his altitude. Mm -hmm. You know, I might just go rearm. Because I can. You know? Right, there's that Tempest left, and there's something else left. Probably a Tempest and a Spitty. I think that Tempest is stalking us. Mm hmm. I'm gonna try to climb back up to my altitude. Alright, so, I mean. I was at, I was quite a bit higher above him, and he did a uh, suicide stall. Still couldn't get him. Dude, this space cat was doing a suicide stall, and I, and I put like a bunch of shots on him, and just like kill assist, and just like, you know what, fuck this game. <laughs> like, I literally was just aiming straight at the plane, and it's just like, assist. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Fine. I guess, I guess that uh, FW-90 he was shooting at had a rear gunner or something. Shot to Kovic. Is asking for help. Should we go help him? Why not? I'm not. I can't get anything on this tempest. I got 141 cannon rounds left. I'm gonna land real quick. I don't think I'm gonna have time to land. Fuck it. The tempest is gonna die on us uh, anyway. Spitfire, I knew it. Yep. At least we're higher than Spitfire. <laughs> Tempest diving on me. If this Tempest wants to, okay, okay, hold on. Yeah, get some speed and then like pull up. Screw him up. Do the head on, baby. You hit him. Maybe. Did you hit him. I hit him, yeah, but of course it did nothing. Oh, he's diving still. Yeah. Okay, it's just me and the Spitfire. And Scott Sokovic. That, that, te that Tempest is dead, right? Yeah. Okay, well... You crashed into him, though. Yeah, I couldn't get out of the way fast enough. But anyway, worth it, I think. So did a lot better right. than I thought I was going to do. Actually, I did infinitely better than I thought I was going to do, because... Yeah, I thought we were going to be... Oh. oh. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Well, I guess I get no kills. Thanks, Gatskovich, for not letting me get any kills. He said ha. Huh. I know. What, did he ram a Spitfire or something? Yeah. Uh. Well, anyway, it was good footage, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Could have been better. <laughs> oh, dude, damn, I got 6,000. Oh, that was my double. That was my double. I said it in a positive way because I actually did kind of well. I said it in a negative way because I got zero kills. <laughs> well, dude, the grind. Should have had the Tempest. I'm grinding for a plane that I know will be over tier. Which one? <laughs> the most, probably the, one of the most over tiered planes. Oh, the 260? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even think anyone flies it. Yeah, they don't. I've flown in like mid 15s and I've flown top jets and I've never seen anyone flying an A1A. I mean, I've seen a couple. That's of actually an 8.0. Yeah, 8.0, never mind. That's. Yeah, that, that flies with Sabres and MiG 15s. <laughs> And there's absolutely no reason to take it. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching.